What's going on guys? We're back again. Uh, it's Rat here bringing you a brand new Dauntless video. Uh, today our main topic is going to be about factions. So we're going to save that for last, but we're going to talk about all the information that was released on May the 10th for Dauntless. So we're going to first we're going to start off with the lore. Uh, I'm going to read off the lore as it goes. So here it goes. It isn't the best place for a city. Rugged mountains, fierce winds, and rain more often than not. But it is home. Ramsgate is the furthest settlement and the best endeavor to make a beachhead into behemoth territory. The only way to win this fight is to take it to the behemoths. Artisans, merchants, and warriors from all over the Shattered Isles came to Ramsgate, not because it would be easy, but because they knew they could make a difference. Here is where the war would be won. Many cut their teeth in the wilderness, exploring uncharted islands, fighting behemoths, and retrieving valuable goods and materials on their four ways. Many never make it back, but those that do bring back hope. Ramsgate stands as a symbol to the rest of the Shattered Isles. It is pioneering, it is bravery, it is strength, it is home. So, we get a little bit of lore. Uh, Monster Hunter had none of that, you know. You, you start Monster Hunter, you talk to the village chief, he tells you there's a big bad monster, you gotta kill it. And that's it. That is it. Oh, there's a monster. It's gonna destroy our town. Oh, oh, you're, you're new. You must be that guy that's supposed to kill the monster. Go kill it. And that's it. So we're getting a little bit, you know, I, I like that Dauntless is trying to, to implement some lore into this game. Uh, I think games like this really thrive off of lore and, uh, and history. Um, so continuing on, uh, welcome to Ramsgate. The world of Dauntless is untamed, uncharted, and unforgiving. Many enterprisers, enterprising explorers set out to find new land for settlement, only to meet their end in the clutches of a behemoth. It's no wonder why very few islands have given rise to larger settlements. Enter Ramsgate, the edge of the frontier, and the tip of the spear in the battle against the behemoth threat. It is here that slayers forge their legends. Ramsgate was founded by the Shattered Isles' most intrepid explorers, those brave enough to push back against the behemoths and establish a foothold in their land. So we're right on top of them. Ramsgate is the closest you can get, so there's lots of other islands and and other places you can go to, but Ramsgate is like smack dab in it, like bear country territory, like Montana or some shit like that, like Alaska, yeah, Alaska's a good reference, nothing but death in Alaska, from what I've seen on Alaskan Survival, but I'm not sure, anyways, back to Ramsgate, Ramsgate is where you go if you want to kill shit, so, continuing on, we're going to talk about some of the merchants that we're introduced to, uh, Powerful alliances. Those brave enough to risk their lives in the fight against the behemoths make the journey to Ramsgate. It is home to artisans, craftsmen, several guilds, and of course the local tavern. Need an upgrade or a new piece of armor to take down a particularly nasty Embermain? Head on over to Moria. Uh, Moria Heigsketter. But we're just going to call them by their first names. So, Moria has some coveted armor pieces recipes that have been passed down for generations. Nearby her is Wills Borman. His finely honed weapons are considered masterpieces. Every slayer knows the right gear is essential to surviving a hunt. Need to add some special flair to your equipment? Pay a visit to Gregario Flint, Ramsgate's stylist. He offers several dyes and cosmetic options to help you stand out whether you're walking around through the streets of the city or locked in battle. Many slayers seek out Arkin Drew, the Aether Smith, for his arcane knowledge. So, magic. There's going to be magic in this game. Don't ruin it. Magic is good. But please. Don't give me another Monster Hunter game. that ha I really think that the magic in a game can just be like cluster bombing in Monster Hunter. If you've ever heard of cluster bombing. It's when you get four guys to get heavy bow guns. And just use cluster bolts. So that is like an explosive round. But it scatters. And it just demolishes everything. It's, it's really sad. I really hope they don't ruin magic. Please don't make it overpowered. Please, please. Range is already overpowered enough. Just don't make it OP. It can be really good for this game. I know I'm getting really serious about this, but I really don't want this to be overpowered. Mainly because I hate magic. I'm one of those guys. I love melee. I hate magic. So please, don't give me an ultimatum. Don't make me use magic because it's overpowered. Anyways, 
He has unraveled the mysteries of Aether and can help slayers unlock powerful materials used for crafting. Now, hopefully it's just upgrading materials. Hopefully there's no magic other than just getting magical items to imbue in your weapons for adding elements. So that would be cool. But I really hope there's no, like, you know, you know what magic is like in games like this. So hopefully it's just for upgrading. But maybe not. If not, don't ruin it. Please. Please. All right. Now we're coming to my favorite topic that we're going to be talking about today, and it's factions. So, prospective hunters will want to visit the Storm Chasers, the Array, and the Crimson Blades, three powerful factions that have set up a base of operation in Ramsgate. Currying favor with the leaders unlocks powerful rewards that can mean the difference between life and death in the heat of battle. Everyone in Ramsgate has lost someone to the Behemoth Menace, and now they have come together in Ramsgate to make a difference. It will take the combined might of many brave slayers to preserve humanity and ensure our future in the Shattered Isles. Will you answer the call? So, I think this is awesome. I love factions. They make games fantastic. Great games turn into fantastic games when you add factions. It increases the playtime, uh, especially if there's items from each faction that you have to get. I, I think this is a fantastic idea that they're, pl that they're putting in this game. Hopefully we get certain weapons from factions or certain gear that looks really cool that's, you know, faction specific. Uh, just like in Destiny, uh, if you've ever played Destiny, Destiny has um, factions in it. So there's multiple different factions and each of them have different weapons that are specific to them or specific armor and they all look really cool. So I'm really hoping that we can get at least a transmog for our armors to put on, if not, you know, armors that, you know, are specifically from the factions. I think they're doing a really good job so far. Um, I haven't played the alpha yet because I didn't get into the into the other alpha. But, you know, I'm getting into the Founders alpha. I don't know if there's a non-disclosure agreement with that one. Um, but there definitely is for the uh, tech alpha. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll keep looking. But I'm, I've seen somewhere where we can post. And then I've seen other people say we can't post. So, um, yeah. I'll try not to be that guy. But, you know, anyways, uh, it should be coming soon. Uh, if there's any information that I can release to you guys, I definitely will. Um, but until then, yeah, guys, factions. It's been Wrath. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.